Joining us now, House Oversight Committee's the ranking member, Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio, Fox News contributor, former Oversight Committee chair, smart enough to get the hell out of there, the author of the bestseller, Power Grab, Jason Chaffetz is with us. So here's what I heard. Today, another beatdown, a disastrous day for the Democrats, so it stays behind closed doors. Now, are we ever at least going to get the transcript so we can show the person? Again, today, the boss literally say nothing wrong on that call, and there was no alteration of the transcript. More lies told by the leaking Democrats. Jim Jordan. Yeah, Sean, I do think we'll get the transcript sometime, but again, it's up to Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi. They're making the rules as they, uh, up as they go along. They tried to pass this resolution today and put a ribbon on this, this sham of a process, but that doesn't change it. It's still a sham uh, process. So hopefully we'll get the transcripts. At some point they said they're going to have public hearings, but uh, look, when you do this in, in secret in the bunker in the basement of the Capitol where the American people can't see it, I think I think they understand this is this is a flawed process to the nth degree, and the American people get it. It's unfair. It's partisan. And I don't think they're going to stand for it. And you're right. Our party was stayed together, and we all voted against this, which I think was a great sign and a great message to the to the people of this country. Well, I think it's just obvious. I mean, we know what Newt Gingrich did in terms of Bill Clinton, Jason Chavitz. I've gone over it many times on this program. I can go over it again if people want. But I mean, it was. Every consideration, every due process, right to call witnesses, uh, uh, cross-examine witnesses, deny evidence being admitted, admit evidence, all of that was allowed. None of this is allowed. You must bow at the feet of, of the congenital, corrupt, compromised liar and beg for, please, may we have permission, sir, and beg for anything, and then he gets to say no. Well, what Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff did was try to sell this sham to the American people by saying now there's a formalized process and now it's more open and transparent. But literally today, the exact day that they voted on this, they were having transcribed interviews in the dark, in the secret. And tomorrow they're going back into the House Intel Committee. Is that going to be open and transparent? Is that going to be out on television with reporters and other members of Congress being able to look at it? Think about it. You have duly elected members of Congress going into it, cannot go into a hearing that is an unclassified hearing. And that's going to happen even after this thing passed. It is a total sham. It empowers Adam Schiff more. It, it becomes more secretive no matter what the speaker okay, says. Here's what I, it here's is what I don't understand. Lie. Jim Jordan, there's got to be some way, if he is a fact witness, which he is, just go with the things that we know. We know that there was contact with the non-whistleblower, hearsay yeah. whistleblower, whistleblower. Um, don't we have a right to know what the contact was? Don't we have a right yeah. to know whether or not they colluded? Don't we have a right to know what the relationship is with Son. Biden? And what the, don't we have a right to know what the relationship was with, with John Brennan, the, the biggest Trump hater, most corrupt individual who I think we're going to learn a lot about in the Durham yeah. investigation? Don't we have a right to uh, sure. find out those facts? Sure. Sean, remember this. Five weeks ago, Adam Schiff says we need to hear from the whistleblower. Today, he says we don't need to hear from the whistleblower. What changed in that five-week time frame? One fundamental fact. We learned that Adam Schiff's staff had met with the whistleblower. That's the only thing that's changed. So now Adam Schiff says, oh, no, no, we don't really need to talk to this guy. So th th that I would love to have Adam Schiff under oath in front of a committee asking him questions. I don't think it's going to happen. But you're, th this, the idea that he's the only guy in America who knows who this individual is who started this whole thing. And never forget on the whistleblower's complaint, bullet point number one on the complaint, the whistleblower says this. Over the past four months, I have talked to more than half a dozen U.S. officials who formed the basis of this complaint. Who are those more than half a dozen U.S. officials? Who are these 7 to 11 Here's people? What, I would like to talk to them. And more importantly, the American people would like to see those people who gave the whistleblower the information and judge their credibility under oath in front of a committee, not in secret in the bunker in the basement of the Capitol, but in an open hearing where we can ask them questions and they got to answer them under oath and we see how they respond. That's how it should work, but that's not how it's going to work because this process, as Jason just said, is a sham. Not only was the president exonerated by the transcript, Jason Chavitz, we see that the president, for three years, we've heard about how horrible outside election interference of foreign countries is. The president saying to the president of Ukraine, who we know from a Ukrainian court, that they colluded with Hillary Clinton. 
the political rights about a DNC operative meeting in the Ukrainian embassy in D.C. to get dirt on Donald Trump to have Ukraine collude and impact the 2016 election in her favor. So I guess Donald Trump is, well, doing his constitutional, uh, constitutional duty, faithfully executing the laws. Hey, give us any evidence you have. And in spite of what the media says, there is a quid pro quo. Crazy Uncle Joe, you get...